Hello, I'm Ethan from EWCRM. You are watching my Just Call training series. If you want to try Just Call, you can get an extended trial of the premium version and also 30 minutes of free iAgent time with the link that's on my website, EWCRM.com. On today's training, we're going to set up a basic phone system in Just Call, and we're going to cover the main menu items down here on the left side. So first up, you've got your dashboard. This is just about a short seven day snapshot of what's taking place on your system. All of your phone lines, all of your users, any live calls that are going on, any outbound calls, inbound calls. Again, it's just for a short period of time. It covers a good amount of your analytics. It can cover amount of time on the phone, amount of time that the agents answer it, the AI agent, whatever that is. This next tab is your analytics. This is where you could take that dashboard, but now you could make it into a particular time period or a particular user or a particular phone number. You can also integrate these dashboards with the external KPI reporting companies that allow you to build dashboards that incorporate everything in your CRM or your ERP system or your document signing. It can put it all into one place. You can contact me if you want some more details on that. You can also create your own dashboards. You could make it particular for a sales rep. There's a lot you could do here. Next tab, this is my favorite feature of Just Call. This is the AI voice agent. I've set many of these up. They are phenomenal. This is basically a robot that is answering my calls for my, my CRM company. It is qualifying the calls if anyone has any questions about what a CRM is or about what Just Call is or any of the softwares that I use. I've trained my AI agent to answer those calls and to schedule appointments, to take uh, transfer calls or to just do data collection. So if I just want to get their, their name, their email address, I can do automations and build out and, uh, and send out an email immediately after the call with the nice PDF. I can integrate this into my CRM. It gets really geeky, but this is some amazing stuff. When you select from the template, you can do appointment scheduling, a 24-7 bot, a, a receptionist, lead qualification. There's tons of industries. Just Call's done a phenomenal job on building this, and it's only getting better. Again, I have an entire video where I cover the full training of this. The next tab, your phone numbers. This is going to be a main place that you're going uh, to go on a basic or even intermediate system. I've got th four, uh, three phone numbers that I've set up. I've got a main EWCRM for my business. I've got a main phone number. I've got a direct phone number for me. And then I've got an emergency call phone number. So this one has a 24 hour time. This one has a uh, Monday through Friday time with after hours voicemail. So that phone won't ring and it won't disturb me on my off time. It will just send that individual to an after hours voicemail. Let them know that they reached me outside of the working hours. This main line is tied to that AI voice agent that we just discussed a minute ago, who is basically running the phones for this business. Next up, you got your workflows. Under your workflows, you can build out, like I said, the AI voice agent. This is a voice routing system. This is where you're AT&T or you're a major company and you wanna press one for the sales department or two for marketing or three for the accounting department. This is where you could break down those menus. You could even go into sub menus. I do an entire training uh, video on this as well. Again, that's on my website, ewcrm.com. The call routing, this is where you can have, say for instance, a one main phone number for your business and maybe you have three sales agents and you want to evenly distribute the calls to each one of them. Okay, you could do that. There's a lot of rules you could do. You could do a lot of routing. You could do advanced routing involving your CRM. So if you're using Pipedrive or High Level, two of my favorite CRMs, you can integrate this where it can automatically dial the owner of the deal. So where the call routes, it goes directly to the main person rather than even waiting for a receptionist that gets that client right on the phone. Again, I have another, another video on the voice agent. I have another video on the IVRs as well. Next up is your sales dialer. This opens up a whole new menu. The sales dialer, as you can build out campaigns and dashboards, basically I'll summarize. The sales dialer is where you can uh, upload a list of say a, a thousand potential clients and you could use it as a power dialer. You could go through there, you could tag people with disposition codes, how did the call go? This can all be integrated into your CRM system so you could basically use the Just Call dashboard to fly through and power dial a bunch of calls. Again, I have another video on this where I cover this in detail on how to set that up. 
Next up is your Just Call AI. There's a little bit of an add-on for these, but you've got, uh, I've got, you can see all the history of all the calls that have been coming in to my AI voice agent as I've been testing it. As you get um, more of the AIs, um, you can do, you can break down into a full transcript. You can break down um, and you can put that transcript into the CRM system. You can email yourself the transcript. You can put a checklist of what's next. There's quite a good amount with that AI that you can build out. Next up, your email inbox. This is basically where your text messages you can go can come into. It can be a shared inbox inside of the Just Call. Again, handle email conversions with your project, uh, conversations with your project customers and colleagues in a single place and collaborate. Again, this is an add-on feature. Next up, this is your team. This is where you add your users. You're going to add your, uh, your groups of users, your team members. You can do a lot with this. You can set up a 100-person company, break them down into teams, break them down into different extensions, give them different roles. These three little tabs, there's, these go miles. There's a lot that breaks into here, into the teams. You've got your standard contacts. These contacts can be synced with the CRM system, so they're... Uh, Two-way sync so that your whenever the phone number comes in, it can pull up that individual's pipe drive. It can show a logo right on the Just Call app, so you could pull up while the phone's still ringing. You can have the pipe drive app in front of you. You can see who's calling you and what they may even be calling about before you even answer. You can see your call logs inbound, outbound as uh, on the next tab, as well as your voicemails. You can see your agent availability, the, uh, the office hours for any of your individuals. I'm the only agent on here, but I can have a master control of seeing who, which agents are available, who's got their settings. As you see, my time, I'm out of office hours because I set this as unavailable. I didn't want it to ring during me filming a tutorial, so I set it unavailable. But if I made it ring, my dashboard, I'd show available and I would be one of the agents. So earlier when I talked about workflows, if you do a call routing system, that's where that comes into play is that agent availability. If I have 10 agents and only three of them are available, they're in an even round robin. Again, you can get very, very geeky with how you set this up. It's impressive. They've done a wonderful job at Just Call. Next up is your SMS, your WhatsApp inbox. It can all connect in your bulk SMS. So you want to fire a group uh, text message, or excuse me, a text message to a thousand clients. They do have to be approved before you send those out, but you can send a, an MMS, that's a multimedia message, so it's a text message with a video. You can also do SMS bots. What is that, Ethan? Okay, what if I was to text message somebody and say, how did you think of our service? Reply one, two, three, four, or five, depending on if they liked you. Say they responded with a five, saying they were thrilled, they loved your company's service. I could now automatically respond to them with a link to leave me a review and say, hey, thanks so much. I'm glad you enjoyed our service. Here's a link to keep a review. That's a basic SMS workflow that I could build a bot into that text messaging. So there's a lot you can do with the automations inside of the texting. Next up, you've got your integrations. This is where you've got your entire marketplace. This is where you can integrate in your calendar. You can integrate in your CRM systems. You can integrate in a lot of different things. You can integrate in Slack messaging. There's a lot there. Again, please contact me if you've got questions. I enjoy answering them. Finally, you've got your scheduler. That's basically your times that you're available. So let's get into the, the, the final parts here, the phone numbers. This is the most recent or the most common place you're going to go. See, I've gotten three main phone numbers. Let's take a look at my direct phone number. So it's, it's, it's assigned to me. I currently don't have SMS or MMS authorized. I, whenever you set up a new Just Call account, it takes about two weeks to get approved for SMS. There's some questions you have to answer that you have to check the validity. The FCC doesn't want you just anybody getting an account and text messaging away and sending 5,000 text messages. You get it. We've all gotten those robo calls and the robo texts. They're definitely cracking down on it, and that's what this registration goes. They check the validity of your business, your website, and what your going to be up to with that texting. So next up, if you hit uh, Ethan Direct, let's go into the details of this phone number, okay? I've got that the phone number is assigned with me. I could share this phone number with 10 team members so all of their phones ring. Remember, Just Call is a few different ways. You've got a Google Chrome app, so I have the app installed, meaning my phone will ring on my computer. A, a box will come up here in the upper right-hand corner. It will say who is contacting me. It may, it may connect them to a pipe drive. 
on the mobile app, it's the same thing. It says that it's a just call phone number. It says that it's basically a work call, that it's not on your personal cell phone. So it's great for work-life balance. Um, again, I have my hours set. So all, if I jump ahead all the way to the bottom here where I have hours set, that's the hours that that phone will ring on my mobile app. It will not ring outside of that. It, as you see here, if unanswered, it sends a voicemail to me. If, uh, and there's other things that you can do. You can route to an external number. You could queue it and uh, put, uh, you could have a queue with some music in there, whatever you want it. Next up in the tabs, again, this is a lot of these menus, but you've got the IVR. That's the routing system. That's where press one for sales, press two for customer support, press three, et cetera, et cetera. You can have multi-level. So you could say press one for sales. And then on the next menu, say press one for Tim, press two for John, press three for Tina. You could do things like that. You could do multi-level. You could do a conference call. You could do smart routing. This is a new feature that they're coming out with similar to the IVR. Um, we'll get into more details about that as they roll it out of the beta phase. Next up, you've got your call workflows. Again, what do you want it to do? Do you want it to fire a webhook? Those are very complicated things, but these are involving automations with your CRM system. So do you want it to, whenever a call is ended on this phone line, do you want them to get a text message that says, hey, thank you so much for the phone call. I appreciate your time. You could do simple things like that with an advanced system like this. Moving down the list, you've got your voice agent. We discussed that. I said I have an entire um, an entire video covering the awesomeness of this agent. If you want to try it, go ahead and give a call to my company. It's 386-766-4949. The phone number is also on my website, ewcrm.com. Go say hi to Lucas. He's my AI agent. I've been training him. He answers all kinds of questions about the CRM world, marketing automations. He knows it all. He'll tell you the weather in Cleveland if you'd like him to. It's amazing. Moving on. The advanced setting on the normal phone. So we're recording calls, okay? We're uh, recording calls compliance. See, this is, this is, if you're in a state, you have to be careful of this. There are certain states where you're not allowed to record a phone call. So this will check your state, check for compliance, and really basically turn off that feature if, uh, if you're not allowed to record it. Incoming calls. Now, uh, Just Call does a default setting here of 30 seconds. That's a lot of rings. That's like nine rings on a phone. I usually think nine or 10 seconds is about three or four rings on a call. That's about the standard amount of time that you want a phone to ring before it goes to the next step, which is most likely a voicemail. Or again, if you have these IVR systems, you may want it to just ring immediately and pick up. So you got some pretty uh, setting, uh, good settings here. You've got how do you want the ring to go? So uh, if you're in the United States, we're used to a standard way that when we dial somebody, when we hear the phone ring, ring, or we hear a busy signal if they're busy. Obviously, with cell phones, there's really no such thing as a busy signal anymore. But international companies, they have, the, they have different types of ways that the phone rings. Most of you will probably be clicking on the United States, since that's the market that I, I target in the United States and Canada, which is the same type of ring. You've got an outbound and inbound caller ID, so you can actually set a different caller ID. So if I didn't want to show my main number up here, the Ethan Direct, because this is my direct line, maybe I wanted to ghost this and I wanted to put the main number where Lucas, my AI voice agent, is going to answer. I could do that, and then my caller ID, even though I'm calling from my direct line, they don't really see my direct line. Next up, you've got your complicated settings in the queue. So say, for instance, if I have more than one person call in at the same time, I can set it so that instead of getting my voicemail, they can, they can wait on hold. You can do things like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Moving on. Missed, uh, missed calls, we could say what we want to do with the missed calls. We could, set, we could assign them to a phone number. We could do the intelligent call routing system at this point. There, uh, we could do voicemail transcripts. So you can get an email with the full, uh, as I mentioned in the menu, the AI agent will read. There's a little bit of a six and a half cent upcharge on that. It will read that voicemail. It will email it to you. You could even have a text message it to you. You could have a post call survey. Again, lots of stuff. This SIP phone. What is that? Okay, good, good question. 
An SIP phone is a standard desktop phone that works from Wi-Fi. So they are just like the old phones that we used to plug into back in another, another lifetime ago. But these are all digital. They're very cool. They're usually about a really good ones, maybe $200 on Amazon. You can get away with the $100 version, which is a wonderful graphic phone. It's on your desk. And by getting these settings, your entire system is, is, built, in, is built into that SIP phone. I've set quite a few of these up for some pretty large companies, 20, 30, 40 different um, users. They're, they're not difficult. Next, you've got all your messages. So you've got your welcome message. So at the beginning of, say, if you did one of those IVRs, and for instance, maybe we're AT&T, it can say, hello, this is AT&T, please press one for the sales team. You have to have a welcome message. You could also have an outbound call message. It can play a message as the, uh, uh, at the beginning of any outbound call, like, please hold connecting you with, with Dr. Smith. And, and Dr. even though Dr. Smith is the main one making the call, it could show a little bit more of a, a validity in that market. You could do your voicemail, you could do your after hours voicemail. So where I have my settings of my time right here, my after hours voicemail is going to play when, the, um, when I'm out of hours and during the hours it's going to play the other one. It's going to play the, the primary voicemail. You've got a hold message, so you could put in here a hold message. You know what you're going to put in there? You're going to put music. A lot of times you're going to put some elevator music in there. You've got a cue message, same thing, some elevator music. There's so much cool customization that you can do with this. So you can co connect a button on your website to call you, uh, a little widget. See, make a widget that says add it to your website. Click the call button, There, uh, a click the schedule button, and um, all of that can be put on there. So... That concludes a really in-depth class on how you set up one of these phone line systems. Please, if you have any questions at all, I don't want to take any more of your time. I think that was pretty in-depth. Go ahead and contact me at, e at uh, Ethan at EWCRM.com or go to my website. There's a bunch more videos where I cover more detailed things about how to set up the awesome AI voice agent or how to do the voice dialer, the bulk dialer, or how to do your workflows and set up an IVR. Thank you for your time.